Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 of Pro Engineer Made Simple. Today I'm going to show you how to make an extrude using a sketch that's inside of the extrude. Rather than make a sketch and then make an extrude based on that sketch, what we're going to do is combine the steps and have the extrude refer to an internal sketch. So I'm going to start off by clicking on the extrude tool and coming up here we'll see that the placement button is highlighted in red. So we'll click on that and then it's asking us to define a plane that our sketch is going to be on. So I'll hit define and I'll select this front plane and I'll hit sketch. Now we're just making a sketch so if you remember from our couple lessons ago we're just going to make a circle and let's make a box as well and I'll accept that and there we go, we have an extrude. Let's make the, oh, say 200. And we'll accept this. And there we go, we have an extrude from an internal sketch. And if we look over here on the left, we'll see that here's the sketch right inside. And if we go edit definition, we can go ahead and edit that sketch and just accept that and it'll bring us up back. Now another thing that you can do with an extrude is make a cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut into this circle. So I'm going to go from front and I'm, I'm selecting it first this time, hit the extrude button, hit placement, define, and it's already assuming that because I selected the front datum plane before I hit extrude that that's the plane that I want it on. So I'll accept this and I'll make a box inside of our circle. And for giggles let's make a circle inside of the box. And we'll accept that. Well now we can see that we have the yellow box in there but it's completely inside of our original extrudes. So let's drag that up. And if I was to accept this now, I'd just have another extrude that started at the bottom and went all the way through. But because you can't see inside of these objects, you only see the result up top. But let's go back and edit this extrude. And you'll notice we have another button next to the flip button and this is the remove material button or the cut. So I'll have that selected and now our boxes from to make the extrude are all in just wireframe rather than a shaded 3D yellow. And I'll accept this. And now we have holes going through our original extrudes. So you can mess around with the cuts and one thing that you can do is change the length so that you only go part way in. It's a useful thing right there if you're going to make a hole for a bolt to go through or something like that or you're going to make a tire you could have your axle go through there. It's a very useful feature and something that you can use to shave little corners off so if I wanted to get rid of just a little portion of this uh, extrude right here what I can do is I can use this flat surface as a reference rather than go to a datum plane I can actually use the surface of an existing extrude to make an, another extrude from so let's use that placement define because I've already selected that surface, it goes right into the sketch mode. And I'll take a chunk off of that. Now, I made this large circle rather than go really close in with the straight line tool or something like that. Because it doesn't, I don't need to be very precise when I'm making a cut right here. Later on, if you had a lot of different extrudes right next to each other and you only wanted to cut off one, then you'd want to be a little more precise. But for this example, I'm just going to be a rough and crude demonstration. So I'll accept that. And this isn't the direction I want this 
cut to go. So I'm going to flip it like that, and I'm going to make cut like so, and I'll drag this up, make it a very thin cut, and accept it. And there you can see I've chopped off that little corner there. So you can make cuts using extrudes. It's basically a remove material. You can make an extrude off of another extrude and you can have lots of fun with this. So play around. There's no better uh, replacement for experience and just trial and error going through this, figuring out things for yourself. Uh, so go ahead and mess around.